Once you have completed the DNA purification, you will need to transfer your DNA to the assay tubes so they can be tested in your qPCR device. In addition to the pipe hats, tube racks, safety glasses and gloves, which were all used in the purification kit, you will also need the following items which are included in your LT DNA assay kit. Lyophilized qPCR reagents, positive controlled DNA tube, nuclease-free water tube, and 100 microliter filtered pipette tips. Arrange the following in the appropriately sized sections of your tube racks. Nuclease-free water, positive controlled DNA, DNA samples purified using the Gene Count LT DNA purification kit and lyophilized qPCR reagents. Retrieve the positive control DNA tube and gently tap the bottom of the tube on the bench to collect the colored pellet to the bottom of the tube. The colored pellet is very small, so it may not be easily visible by eye. Using the fixed volume 100 microliter pipette, transfer 100 microliters of the nuclease free water to the positive control DNA tube. Recap the tube, then gently tap on the bench to collect the droplets, then allow the positive control to rehydrate on the bench for 5 minutes, mixing occasionally by gently swirling the tube. While the rehydrated positive control DNA tube is incubating on the bench, you can use this time to begin setting up the assays as outlined in the next few steps. Dispense the rehydrated reagents and the samples into the appropriate assay tube, working from left to right. Using the fixed volume 20 microliter pipette, transfer 20 microliters of the nuclease-free water into the first qPCR reagent tube. This is the negative control. Recap both tubes and label your negative control. With a new pipette tip, transfer 20 microliters of the first DNA sample into the second qPCR reagent tube. Recap both tubes and label your sample number one. With a new pipette tip, transfer 20 microliters of the second DNA sample into the third qPCR reagent tube. Recap both tubes, then label your sample number two. With a new pipette tip, transfer 20 microliters of the rehydrated positive control DNA into the fourth qPCR reagent tube. Recap both tubes and label your positive control. Please note that the positive control DNA is highly concentrated, so care must be taken not to contaminate other samples with the positive control DNA to prevent inaccurate results. Vigorously mix each qPCR reagent tube. Then, let the reagent sit on the bench for five minutes then vigorously mix each reagent tube again. While the qPCR reagent tubes are incubating on the bench, you can use this time to set up the gene count Q8 or Q16 software. Once the samples have incubated for five minutes, use a robust downward motion and shake the rehydrated contents of the qPCR tubes to the bottom of the tube. Be careful to note the correct orientation of the tubes to prevent accidentally reversing the tubes when inserting into the qPCR device. Your samples are now ready for analysis in the Gene Count Q8 or Q16 device. Place your samples in the Gene Count device in the orientation set up in your software.